Hi, this is Manash Patel with IMTF Trade. Today is May 13, 2024, and we're going to go for our weekly trades from last week with our AI tool, the black bar that forecasts something can happen on the next bar. Okay, we've done this week by week to show you for actions, not words, how the AI tool works. Remember, it works for any instrument, any time frame, but what we're going to do is show you simple with just a weekly time frame for US stocks, uh, currencies, and futures, but it pretty much works for anything out there. The tool is very simple. The AI tool is very simple. Uh, and we keep it simple so anyone could sit there and trade this. You look for a black bar like this. Next bar, it tells you something's gonna happen. The question is, which way? Easy. If this bar here has a green background here, you're basically gonna buy. You're going to buy a couple of points above this black bar high, which we give you a blue dot to tell you exactly where that's going to be. If the background was red, you're going to sell a couple of points below that TNT low, which is this blue dot right there. In either a bullish or bearish condition, your conditional stop is going to be that red dot. Your targets are going to be, if you shrink this down, if the green shade, you have a target above price, which will be right there. If you have bearish uh, shade, it will be down at the bottom. It's as simple as that. We also have money management built in where if you get to a certain level, which is this purple line right there, you change your stop to where you entered. So if you get stopped out, you go to break even. It's as simple as that. So let's begin the journey now and go for last week's opportunity. Here's IP here. Remember, you're not looking at the current bar because this week has started. You're looking at the previous week. This is a winner right there. VNO, this was a winner. MDT was a winner. S uh, this was SH, this went down, gap down, then came back to the entry, entered, and then went down, so that was a winner. This is XLB, was a winner. PNR was a winner. AMP was a not really a trade you enter because it really didn't get to the entry at all. Here, this is a trade that got up, but it still didn't go to the entry, which was right there, and then closed out positive. Here, this is a positive trade last week. Here, this is a positive trade. Here, this was a negative trade here last week, where it did not close out positive at all. Here, this was a positive trade right there. I forgot to put this one red. Here, this was a losing trade. So we'll set that right there. This was a positive trade right there. Winning trade. Winning trade. Winning trade. Winning trade. Winning trade. This is a winning trade. This here was a not a winning trade, but more of a losing trade here. So this was a losing trade right there. Actually, it got to break even because our little thing was right there, so it did get to break even. This here was a break even trade. Entered there, went far enough for us to change our stop to break even. These are trades that did not enter at all. Okay. So if you look at the winning trades you have for the shades, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen winners, and basically two, one loser and two break even. If you look at the non shade opportunities, here, this was right here, this doesn't have a shade. So that, for those, there are lower probabilities and you really don't know which way it's gonna go. So you wanna look for a drawdown before you enter in that strategy. Uh, if you use the strategy we have, I could tell you what the results are. This is gonna be a winning trade right there. This would be a winning trade. This is a winning trade. Remember, you're looking at this previous bar right there. So that's bearish, that was winning trade, winning trade, 
and this was a losing trade. There's more one more winning trade here, right there was a winning trade, but that really was not, that was actually break even right there. This was break even too. So overall, if you look at the winning trades, including uh, the highest probabilities and the lowest probabilities, you had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22 winners, about two losers, and about four break even. Not bad at all for the results for last week. So there was a lot of opportunities there because the market's finally are starting to trend a little. So you kind of see that through the TNTs and follow through. So if you look at the results week by week, the number of TNTs that have the shade are increasing bit by bit by bit. And that kind of tells you a trend is being developed. If you like this video and like to see more, please like and share it to others. Uh, we do want to continue doing this. Uh, so we do need more followers uh, to, uh, to follow us. If you have any questions, please uh, ask the question in the post that you're seeing on social media. Thank you.